Well, I have to tell you, just in the last couple of minutes, Joe, it is really picked up here. Uh, just here in, in this room, uh, this hotel that we're on, uh, on the beach, I'll tell you, the lights have been flickering for the last couple of minutes. And outside of here, actually, the whole strip we've, has just gone very dark. Um, so uh, up to about 15 minutes ago, the latest um, numbers we had were that there were about 343,000 power outages in Florida from the storm thus far, uh, according to Florida Power and Light. Uh, here in this county, Volusia, uh, Volusia County, it was about 14,000. But again, in just the last couple of minutes, uh, we saw a big blue light on the horizon. It was probably a transformer blowing somewhere in this area. Uh, the wind here is really picking up. According to the Weather Channel, we've been getting gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's getting very loud. Uh, the wind, the rain is just moving sideways here. We've seen some lightning. One of the biggest things to watch here as this really ramps up coming into Daytona Beach over the next couple of hours is going to be this beach and the storm surge. According to some forecasts, we could be getting storm surges high as 12 feet uh, later on today. So uh, so this is, as, as I mentioned, this is really ramping up right now in terms of Hurricane Matthew and where it is. Uh, Cape Canaveral and the Space Coast is really getting the brunt of it. The eye of the storm about five miles off the coast from Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center right now. But again, here, as I mentioned, we've had lights flickering. We've seen some darkness on the strip. This wind is really starting to pick up. Uh, and we're just, uh, we're going to be hanging tight and staying safe. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.